boys and girls. And, <clears throat> excuse me. There, uh, there ain't no excuse for you. Of all ages, makes and sizes. It's time once again to circle the wagons. You know what I'm saying? Because the Coon Prairie Ramblers in the house. Whether you want us to be or not. Yeah. We're How here. we got in there? That's up to we're, that's your problem. We snuck in while they weren't looking. <laughs> Through yeah. that broken window by the back door for uh, me. It wasn't me. Yeah. It we'll wasn't go, me. We're going to talk about this and that, and hope and along to help us do that. We got Luke over there, the rebel without a clue. Live in large, but never in charge. And we have Dangerous Dave back by popping on the band. Demand. You all were writing in here and said, Where's that dangerous Dave? The crowd goes wild. Back? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And wow. then we got me, the amiable, affable, man about town, lovable, adorable, fleet blah, of foot. Blah, 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 <laughs> Mailman from Melville. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dave, you're back by popular demand, but where you been, man? Well, hey, you grew a few whiskers while you were gone, too. Yeah, a few. A we few. haven't seen you since, what, October? No, May of yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, May of last year. Almost a whole year. Hell, I'd go. I've well, gotten you, I've gotten the invites, but invariably every time I get one, I'm sick. I got yeah, to COVID. Oh. I thought you was on sabbatical. Okay, so well, uh, yeah, a sick sabbatical. Yeah, kind of. I I had the COVID. Uh, you know, the, the the first time I had the COVID, it wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, I little sore throat, little cough, loss of taste. But these last two times. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that's a COVID of a different breed. I thought it was going to take me so you, out. you got a new one, a different one. Uh, huh? it's, I guess it's a different strain. Uh, the first yeah. one came from China via Delta, and I guess the other one came from China via United Airlines. Yeah, a little more uh, vicious. They're exactly the same, except different. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, the first time I, I had to have COVID two times. First time I had it, I didn't lose my taste buds. They stayed there in my mouth. I hope so. But for some reason, I could smell peeled onions. Mm. I'm thinking, Carrie, my, my wife, I said, are you peeling onions in there? She said, no, there's no onions in here. I said, I'm constantly feel, smelling peeled onions. Maybe your deodorant onions. wore off. Huh? Your deodorant wore off that day, maybe. No, my, well, when my deodorant runs, wears off, I smell really good. You're right. Yeah. Well, wait, before we go much further, we better do our word of the week. Oh. We, we are remiss. We are getting behind. And we got a toast, too. Like a bunch of you. That's exactly right. We have a word of the week. Our word of the week this this week being our wow is um, drum Come roll, on. please. Come on. Bring it on. Yeah. Drum roll. All right. Our word is invariably, a word you've probably heard before, you may not know what it means, or how to spell it, but I'm going to try to spell it. Invariably is I-N-V-A-R-I-A-B-L-Y. Invariably, and it means pretty much always, all the time. I mean, I don't well, why don't you just say invariably? invariably? Why don't you just say all the time? All the time, because it's, it's a, uh, not you, as much fun. You use a hard word to explain to... To replace an easy phrase. There's, there's probably a phobia for that. But anyway, we're going to try to use that uh, what throughout somebody, the broadcast. And, what if uh, somebody had a hard time using their R's? Ruffles out ridges. All right, we're going to okay. do uh, we got It's time for something else right now. If you got it ready, we are ready for our Melba Toast. Friends, mm. Romans, and countrymen, hark and lend us your ear. In fact, we'll take both of them. Now is the time for Toastmaster Mel to impart to all his pearls of wisdom, also known as the Melba Toast. Yeah. If you're ready, we're yeah. ready. You know, we invariably do this all the time. Boo. Oh, okay. Give me, come on, give me a ring, okay? I, I got the first one. Here's my toast of the day. We're only here for a short time. You realize that, don't you? Yeah, till about an hour and a half. So let's make it a good time. That's a toast. Hey, I got it right off the toast thing, man. Right yeah. out of the toaster. Well, they let anybody write them these days, apparently. Okay, next time, you bring a, bring the toast and I'll bring it huh? <laughs> I'll bring the toast and the jelly. Yeah. I'll and butter, and butter I'll, it up. And I'll eat it. Uh, right here on okay. the air. Well, let's don't forget our birthdays. It is. We got to sing happy birthday to you and if you and is ready. What, which key? You want key C? Yeah, let's go with C again. You like that? 
That's kind of war warbling. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Somebody's been licking my thing here. <laughs> it tastes funny. Uh, Your cat it's, probably got a hold of it. Salty. Oh, man, I hope I... Better not, man. I'll be sneezing my head off. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you give us a key now? Oh, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. How long can I get compete? How can I compete with that? Happy birthday, whoever, whenever, why ever. Hey, you went off key there. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Did we stay on key? Yes, we did. We're okay. there. Okay. All Meanwhile, right. back at the COVID. Well, invariably. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'm going to take that word away from you. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're milking it over there. You're abusing it. Yeah. Anyway, I know there's uh, there's uh, COVID. Uh, you got all kinds of people with different thoughts about COVID. Now, I went and got a couple of shots, but some people have problems with that. Yeah, they'll really stick it to you if you let them. <laughs> uh, I ain't taking no shot. I've had COVID uh, three times now, and I, I was still ain't sticking that. me. I, I, was, that, I threw off the bait there. You got it. Okay. So, so you're, you're, you're a you're a no shotter. You got uh, both shots. I got, I got, I got two regular shots, and I got two boosters, and I've had COVID twice. I got, and I got one shot. Yeah. And you've had COVID. Or you so very it? slight. Slight. I had one. I had one shot. And that was enough. So for me. there's no consensus of here, right? There's... Yeah. We're not. As far as not taking the shot, my baby brother, he had the COVID two or three times the first time it went around, and he had it severely. And when he got over it, they said, "Well, go get the shot." So he went and got the shot, and he a week later he had the COVID again severely. Yeah. So he Just got over quick. that, and then when it came time for the booster, he took the booster. And now he's having repercussions. He's having, I don't know if it messed his heart up or what, but mm -hmm. it wasn't good. wasn't good. It has different effects on different people. It's kind of a crapshoot. If you want to get it, you get it. Yeah. And you got the only to blame for your, only to yourself to blame. Well, it's like I always tell my wife. We, each one of us, we're all the same, but we're all different. We're exactly the same except different. Yeah. Yeah, That's probably go. a good thing. We're all the same. It'd be pretty boring. Yeah. yeah. My wife don't understand that. She she thinks if it's not like the way she does it, she don't understand it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah, we won't go that far. Okay. Uh, okay. What did you say, Bill? Say it again. Yeah. Say it out loud. Out loud. We're carrying the microphone. Sure to hear. All right, all right. We're recording here. Check, yeah. check, check. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know about that, but... uh it's a bad thing. I mean, it just killed some people we know here in town, including my brother-in-law. It took him took him out, but it's mm -hmm. it's a personal choice whether you want to get the shots or where you want to go or wearing the mask or becoming a germaphobe or whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a personal choice, and you live and die by that, literally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, a lot. lot of, it was. Uh, they say it was weaponized. It was politicized. They use it and abuse it any which way they could for their for different people's benefit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were trying to remember, remember when it first came out. They were blaming everything on COVID or whatever. And you, everything you go to the hospital every, every with time. this or that. Right. It's COVID. Yeah. It's COVID. It's COVID. So and so died. Hit by died. a truck. COVID. Yeah. That's right. Fell off a cliff and caught COVID on the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Before he hit the ground, and that, that. well, I mean, the 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 government the government was passing out money for COVID deaths. So that's exactly hospital, right. Hospital hospital be smart to claim everything was that's, COVID. That's why the rates were so high of everybody uh, cases of COVID, which so many people I'm sure did not have it. Yeah, he was shot fourteen times, but one of those bullets had COVID on it. That's right. The guy the guy that put it in the gun there had had touched it, and he had COVID, but. Anyway, it looks like our time is up for the first segment already. So we frittered that away. We frittered away. Invariably, we always do. You know how that goes. But uh, <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Y'all sit tight, and we'll see if we can come up with something else. <laughs> Here we go. We 
again. We're back again, Coon Prairie Ramblers. Like a long lost friend. Yeah, the little old radio station on the prairie. That's us. Yeah, what's the name of this place? W- 104.5. Classic uh, country, banging the twang. Yeah. Well, well, the old twang bangers. Anyway. Hey, uh, you, you ever get frauded? It's me and you and Dangerous Dave today. Yeah. Hey, Dangerous Dave back with us. That's right. There he is. Yeah. Well, he's kind of back. I, I see him. I see something over there. Yeah, I'm in. I'm are in you, are you all with us? Uh huh. Anyway, you got fro- fro- frog. Frog. I, I got frauded. Oh, fro- I said frog. I got last night. I got my my phone went off. Ding ding ding. My phone just went off now. Jeff Griffiths want to go lunch. <laughs> hey Jeff. <laughs> Hang going. God dang it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, but I, I got this. I was getting ready to go to bed. And my phone went ding, and I looked and it says, uh, the, my bank denied a charge of $178 from some clothing place. What? I'm thinking, well, thank you, because I, I certainly didn't buy no $178 at a clothing place. How did they know that it wasn't you sh- out shopping and for a new some, wardrobe? Something, something it just alerted, it like, I don't know how they do that. Uh, so I went to the bank this morning. Oh, well, and then I got a couple more that says, uh, did, you ch- did you charge this? Did you charge this? Did you charge this? I'm looking at those. I'm thinking, nope. So I hit no. So today I went to the bank. Oh, Uh-oh. and then the next thing it says, okay, your uh, card has been disabled. Hmm. They just automatically disabled my card. Because Yikes. What are you going to do for a card? You got to go get another one? Well, I mean, at least... I mean, I can't use it, but at least somebody else is not using it. Well, hopefully you got some cash. So I went down <laughs> to the bank, and uh, so they're going to issue me a new, new card, and, you know, i got to destroy this one. Well, how'd they get a hold of your card or your numbers? Or well, whatever? I asked them that, and they I said, know how they did. you can yeah. be walking by somebody, and they can scan your pocket. You can, he, she says, there's any number of things. Well, here, here's a couple of questions Stand maybe you can pocket. answer. Have you been out of town lately to a town you hadn't been to before uh, and used that card to buy yourself a soda California, pop? perhaps? Yeah. 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 Where, 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 where fraud, is, fraud is king. Everything's maybe, fake out there. Even the women. Maybe that clothing place, right. place was out there in San Diego. Was it? I don't know. Maybe he left his was. card in San in Diego. Fact, I, should, I need to research that. I'll, I'll Google that. That name, yeah. that, that, that. I, I had to, I had to go up to Tallahassee one time, and uh, I used my card up there. And I'm, I'm pretty strict about checking my bank account every morning to see what was going on. And yeah. I had a one dollar charge on my account that I did not recognize. One dollar. And I called the bank, and the bank's like, "Yeah," I said, "That's the way the fraudster will do it. He'll run a one dollar or two dollar charge the first time." Test run. To me, yeah, make sure it goes through. And then the next time, he'll he try you. and clean you out. They don't know how much you got, but they'll shoot for. Yeah, if, if $1 goes through, well, will $50 go through? If 50 goes through, well, will 300 go through? That kind of thing. I'm sure it's hit and miss with them sometimes, because sometimes they probably ask for too much. Well, that, that, that's what got me. When I was in, in Tallahassee, I stopped at a... a one of those one of those type markets where they aren't run by Americans. Uh-huh. And I got me a drink and I think a fruit pie or something like that and paid with my card. I guess they zapped it there. Wow. Now, they had a... There at the Circle K here in town. They had a more substantial hit one time. Some people came through, and they were doing it from inside their car. They had some kind of device. They could just get it close to the wall of the Circle K and hold it there for a few minutes, and whatever card would run in, in their machine the Circle K had picked them up. Yeah, people need to be shot. Yeah, they need Repeatedly. to Repeatedly. And you know what? I am very careful with where I, I, I don't like. I don't go to certain gas stations. I don't go. I only go to certain places, you know. And, you know, and if. Anything different shows up, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Must have been from your trip. Maybe. That's yeah. what I'm thinking, brother. Wow. Yeah. Makes you scared to go and yeah. buy anything anywhere. Well, anyway, they can't get anything more. Oh, uh, or that got denied, and they ain't going to get anything because my card's dead now. 
Well, they supposedly make something you can put your card in, like a, a metal case, a little thin metal sleeve, and put it in your wallet, and supposedly they can't, can't be scanned from there. That's what I've heard. I don't Is that know. right, dangerous? Who knows that? Yeah. They probably yeah. got something that goes right through that, too. Call in and let us know. Uh, you, you, usually when it gets caught is when you're using it. Yep. They, 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 they don't have to have the skimmer. Like, okay, if you if you stop at a gas station, they talk about skimmers on the gas pumps. Yep. Well, they're so sophisticated now that they can just take a little device and, you know, maybe stick it on the garbage can that's sitting next to the gas pump. And every time you run that card, there's enough echo that it can pick it up. I tell you what, now. Whoever can come with that is pretty smart, but they're they're too lazy to get a job and use their 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 well, education is, to have is, a decent job and make decent money. That is their job, man. They're making tons of money. But I'm just saying they can, they can put that to good use. <laughs> yeah. Instead of evil. Yeah. Well, they probably figure like I don't want to get one of those cheap jobs. I want a good job. I want to lay around all day. Yeah. Or, or so sleep during the day, lay around. Yeah. Run around I, all night. You were talking about fraud. Yeah. Uh, here lately, I don't know how many phone calls y'all have gotten, but they're trying to sell you solar panels for your house. Yeah. And I saw on the sheriff's website that there's some fraudulent companies doing that same thing right here in Arcadia. They call you up about solar panels. Mm -hmm. and say, sheriff said point blank, said don't, you know, don't deal with them. So do they actually put solar panels on you? Then well, that's the thing. It's it's a high pressure sale. Well, you know, we'll start Monday. Let's have your card number, and they, oh, they never yeah. come okay. back. That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> wow. Invariably, it's a bad idea to listen yeah. to those. Invariably. People. And you know, a lot of times <laughs> you'll get a a call or a message, and it'll ask for a birthday. You know, and then you know if you're not thinking, you know that. Oh, dang, I just gave up my birthday. You know? All you got to do is say yes. They want you to, is this so-and-so? Yeah. You say yes. Yeah. They've got you saying yes. And they say that's a big way to, because they can use yeah. that recording to to, to fraud you. Huh. Yeah, it's like uh, if somebody, if, if you get a call, it's, you know, a recording. Well, is 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 Dave there? I'll say, well, I'm your feller or you know, something like yeah. that. I will never say yes. I'll say Dave who or whatever. It depends oh. on who this is and what what you want. That's what I tell them sometimes. Yeah, I want to so, do that. Yeah, I'm your feller. So, no, <laughs> but no, he died. And we're having his funeral this afternoon or whatever. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> but like you're dead. Back when back when I was in business, I was uh, working on satellite dishes and antennas and stuff. And one of my girls, she wanted me to do something with a car. I forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. But I, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to the money to do it. I was a bad investment or whatever. And uh -huh. Next time somebody called on the phone, uh, is, is, Dave, is Dave the satellite guy? Oh, he died. That's what she told him. Exactly next thing right. I know, they would sending condolence cards and stuff to the house. Cool. Hey, maybe I need to die <laughs> and get some of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and some wall, wall gas cards. And, you know. Hey, you could always answer the phone. Uh, is this so-and-so? Well, it might be. Uh, what are you wearing? There you go. <laughs> Guess what I'm not wearing. I mean, they just go into it or oh, wow. stuff like that. Hey, mess with them. Why not? They're messing with you. Yeah. Do it. I, I, don't, I can't say I've ever been frauded. Yeah. I, hey, it's happening a lot now. Oh, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to remember. I don't think I have. Yeah. Would you use, it, do you use it, uh, a charge card? I use debit card all the time now. Well, all the time. They say it happens with debit cards. I just got tired of carrying cash. I carry yeah. a little bit, yeah. but the, yeah. I mean, the, anytime, anytime you're contacted about uh, somebody's got some money for you, you won some contest you never entered, all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah. You can bet it's a fraud. You money, it. money does not fall from trees. That's Social right. Security does not call you on the phone. Tax yeah, man does not right. call you by the rebate. Yeah. Right. A lot, a lot of people fall for that. I mean, most people know yeah. not to do it, but they make enough money yeah. off the the ones who are crazy enough to, to you know, keep when going. You get, when you get an email, now with me, I never use my first name. Yeah. But So we're out of time. We're out of time. Oh. Oh. All right, boys and girls. Y'all put up with, with, you, with us. And uh, so far, I hope you'll keep doing it. Listen to these commercials, and we'll be right back.
Let's go back to your story you started telling. Hey, we're back again, and we're going to do my story we was talking about. Where were we, Mel? Uh, what was that? Oh, you get to see Mel. Oh, I never go by my first name. I go by my middle name. So, ah. so if I get an email, and you know, before I even open the email, it'll say, Forrest, you have won. I'm thinking, right, no. Nice try. Uh, you don't know me. I never used that name. That's right. I think they addressed me as Luther. Yeah. I know that it's somebody who has to either really know me or it's somebody that who ain't got a clue. Yeah. Yeah, so I just... How about you? Are you David or Dave? You David? I'm Dave to my friend. If you call and ask for Dave, you'll get me. If you call if you call and ask, well, is David there? Yeah. First thing the old lady says is, who's this calling? What's too, this about? Too prim and proper. David. Yeah, uh, yeah. Never heard of him. No, nope. sometimes life just ain't fair. Yeah. And speaking of fair, fair. Oh. we got we got the fair coming to town. Did y'all know that? Yeah, hey, what's yeah. The, it's what's what, word February of the week? February second, I think. Something but invariably, like that. you keep it's forgetting very... what our word of the week <laughs> is. <laughs> I invariably forget that. <laughs> the fair will be in uh, coming uh, next month in the beginning of uh, February, February the second through the tenth. That's how many days? That eight days? Yeah. Eight days of fair? I can't handle that much fair. That's much fair. I can That's only handle fair. one day of it. The second through the tenth. So y'all plan to go? I don't have the list of details. Uh, Mark in the morning will tell you more about that tomorrow. I get sick in my stomach when I think of a fair. You, you know get why? sick because you, you eat greasy food. No, I can't stand to go around circles. I can't stand to ride where it rides. They go well, around in circles. Life is like that. You go around in circles yeah. all your life, but. Sometimes now, you pay I to do, do a it. Ferris wheel because that's a slow circle. Plus, it's a different well, kind of circle. But it's I can't a, do the ones that make your because, belly move to the other side. Because that's a vertical circle rather than a horizontal circle. Yeah. Uh, uh, do, or the or the I can do the Himalaya. No, I can't do the Himalaya. That makes me sick too. Nothing that goes in circles. Woo, do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, circles. but when I go to the fair, I like to look at like the 4-H exhibits. Yeah. They've got a good, his, you know, historical exhibit like they used to. I used to walk through that. Yeah, those are always fun. You know. Different mm -hmm. clubs and organizations you mean, you used you to have. You don't go out there and try to win the little teddy bear, you know, throwing, nah. the, throwing the dart? That, you, 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 we were talking about that fraud lady. earlier. That's the most fraudulent thing. It's the cheap teddy bear to begin with. Yeah, I saw that on uh, Andy Griffith's show. And so I, I learned my lesson about... about uh, Affairs and, and fraud. I got a learned your lesson, huh? Yeah. I got a second cousin. His name is Timmy. He lived up in West Virginia, and he went and was, I forgot what the game was, but the game was rigged. He's trying to win something for his girlfriend. Mm. And he played and played and played. After he lost about sixty bucks, he went out to the car, got his pistol out of the glove box, <laughs> what? went up there, and made the man fill up a whole sack full of teddy bears. <laughs> Wow. And then he went to jail. Well, no. Huh? Oh. They, did nobody know him? Oh. They, used to call, they used to call him the hit man up there. Hit, the, the hit man, Tim Songer, because that's, that's the kind of stuff he would do. He would, you know, he, he'd take stuff for so long and then, yeah. you know. Is he still uh, alive? I don't know. I ain't been up there in forever. If wow. he is alive, I imagine he is in the penitentiary by now. Uh -huh. Some of the yeah. stuff he would do. Finally caught up with him. His yeah. wild and wicked ways. But there's good fair memories. There's bad fair memories about. Yeah, my good fair stuff. memories are elephant ears. Those are elephant those ears. are good fair. Yeah, fair we memories. call them funnel cakes now. Funnel here. cakes, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the ears that were hanging on the elephant. You had to go yeah. look at them. I say, and, what kind of weird fetish is yeah. that? And uh, th 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 see, that's about it. I hate to walk down the midway. Because those guys are always calling, hey, hey, uh, you yeah, them, them, them fraudsters out yeah. to get you. They look at you, try to figure out something about you. Hey, yeah. you with the hat on. Yeah. Hey, you with the ugly girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> That's my mother. Boom. So, uh, That's did, right. you ever, did you ever take your date to the fair? Yeah, we used to do it all the time. We, we, we try the games of chance, and yeah. I don't know if they've changed much over the year. It never was good for winning much. Throw the ping pong ball and win a goldfish, yeah. and they put it in a baggie and give it to you. Oh, great. What am I going to do with this now? Yeah. I'll go home and flush it down the toilet. You, no, you fry it. You fry it? Well, no. that ain't big enough to make the grease stink. You popcorn it. I want a statue of a knight 
in shining armor made yeah. out of tin, but uh, they rubbed it down with like a some kind of cloth with a little bit of black paint on it. It actually looks pretty cool. It's about a, a foot and a half tall. I won that tossing yeah. rings one time, and I've still got that at the house. Yeah. Mm. I got kicked out of the, you know, the go-kart thing where you're actually in a, a little go-kart. You're on the ground going around in a circle. Yeah. You're going the wrong way on the one way? Or no, what? I cut somebody off, and his back wheel went over, his front wheel went over my back wheel, and he, he went air launched into the air, and he flew over the the, the fence barrier. <laughs> and you didn't go to jail? <laughs> no. Well the, well, the guy threw me out. He crippled the man for life, he, and he's he over there me giggling out. under his breath. Oh, Don't you, you heard it here first. Here. Better watch for mail coming down the road. He drives a little black Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but it was. I wish I would have had a camera back. You know, that's back in before we had phone cameras. Yeah, that was that was back when they did it. He got all launched. Yeah. Saw him go. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky he didn't get hurt. Yeah, he didn't man. get sued. You, but you were still a kid, or you were an adult? Oh, I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, didn't know how to drive them thing. You know. You might have got away with yeah. it back then. I got thrown off the, a cup and tea saucer one time. I got kicked out. Really? You wasn't well, hanging on title was. Me and the four guys I was with, we got kicked out. What were y'all doing? We, is that Disney Disney World? We was on a cup and saucer, mm -hmm. and we spent it around so fast, and I was getting sick, and uh, and then uh, and then uh, the front guy next to me, he fell over the rope, you know, like the exit rope, or he his body the centrifugal force forced him out, and his, he bashed his head on the next saucer that All right. <laughs> the saucer came around. Cool. So they threw the brakes on. Brrr. Of, of, of the ride and it came to an immediate halt and we the, hey, you, the guy, and I'm thinking I'm sitting or counting down the second because I'm trying not to get sick and I'm thinking oh no are they going to start to go right over again so they the guys they reached over and they pulled him back in they said he's okay he's okay start to ride again so the lady started to ride again what and he said and he's seeing stars you know he, tweet 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 you know and and then so they started the ride again I'm thinking and they went it, they started it. It went the whole ride, and I'm, I was already getting sick. Now, so are, are, wait, the, the, these guys yeah. are they your buddies? Or you they just were my buddies. To, okay. We were down in Florida for uh, spring break, and uh, what? And then uh, so they when they finally got to the end of the ride, I he turned to leave, and I turned to leave, and I threw up all over his back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turned and I threw up. All over the handle, or the the the, the wheel that turns. Gross. The and then we leave. Gross. So we're out there, and we all we hit the ground. And we, we're rolling in the grass because we're all sick, you know. And I'm I'm throwing I'm still throwing up, you know. And the lady that runs the ride, she comes over and she looks in the, the cup and tea saucer where we were, and she goes, ooh ooh, because she see it. <laughs> she should run over and puked on y'all. Then she runs over. The th now this is very un unprofessional un disney like she says don't you guys ever get on this ride again and was that no we won't lady we promise <laughs> remind me never go to the fair of disney world with you yeah <laughs> anyway gross yeah you're right you, you don't need to be riding yeah. nothing so you know me and fairs we don't we don't get along too good but we're not telling you all out there not to go to the fair no you go no, we're just saying that if mel's oh. there Man. I think a different right. We're supposed to. We're supposed to be in. We're promoting it. Yeah. Okay. Go show your chicken or your well, rabbit me, or your steer or okay, your pig. I'll go, I'll go back to the. Go in to uh, the elephant ear. Yeah, we got go, good elephant ears. Or right. Go cakes. eat some greasy food. Yeah. Ride all the rides. Try, try not to give all your money yeah. to the to the uh, carnies out yeah, there. Yeah. Go buy it. Go 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 buy the the booths and look at the cows and the chickens and stuff they that the kids have, are producing. They don't this have year. freak freak shows anymore though. Uh, well, you don't have. Well, this day and age, you don't have to pay to see them. They're, out, right. they're roaming the streets. You can't swing a cat. Walmart, right three a.m. All yeah. the freak show you need. That's right. That is right. Oh, Try God. not to be one of them. You just don't know because everybody is somebody else's weirdo. So you mm -hmm. you might be the. So wait, give us the date for the for the fair. The dates are February the second through the tenth. Be there in the year of our Lord two thousand and twenty four. Be there or don't be there. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be there, and you know where it is. We're going to have to get on out of here again. I hear there's going to be an F-bomb come rumbling by here in a, in a short. So y'all shop local and be vocal, and we'll be right back.
Hey, 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 we're back again. Coon Prairie Ramblers. <laughs> Take two. Yeah. We, we we did this once before, but... Uh, we had to pause for station identification. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Mel got an important phone call. Well, yeah. Yeah. We don't know right. who it was. It was a super mm-hmm. secret call. Yeah. We don't know. The president yeah. called him back into active service. Yeah. We don't know yeah. what that's We can only hope. Active service. Hey, I wish they would call me back. I could, so do we. I, I'm, I'm ready for some it. action. Yeah, right. You they, they don't call there. me Action Jackson for nothing, you know? Oh, please. Let me get my feet up off the floor. <laughs> it's getting deep in here. Okay. Hey, we're going to do the if bomb. Again. Ready or not. This is the only time we ever drop two bombs in one day. Yeah. Except for you count on uh, actually how our performances are. They're all bombs. But anyway, here goes the if bomb. Uh, one more time. Geronimo. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was Mel. He's bombing over there. <laughs> all over the place. But invariably, he likes to do that. Invariably. Oh, on you. That's right. Invariably. All right. Our if bomb of the day is... If you could change one thing about your spouse or your significant other, what might that one thing be and why? And would you get away with it and uh, expound mm-hmm. on it? Mel's over here yeah. Chomp, yeah. Champ, champing at the bits. Yeah. I wish I wish I could make this change. It'll never happen. <clears throat> I'm going to tell your wife. Go ahead. Well, she ain't going to listen anyway. <clears throat> so, and I'll, I'll tell her not to listen. No, if I do Good that, luck with then that. she will listen. Good luck with that. <laughs> if I could change one thing about my wife. It would be. It would be she invariably. Oh, you're bad. Is correcting me. Uh-huh. Always correct me. Well, don't you and like to correct? Everything I say, she changes. Cause she doesn't accept the way I say something. She changes it. And, uh, like, no, no, that's not what I said. Uh, do you know why? Do I know why? Yes, do you know I, why? I know, yes, because it's, it's, mental, Ill, it's mental illness. There's, a, oh, there's something that wrong. That'll get you some a, brownie points. I, it might be an enzyme, you know, a bad an enzyme up in the brain or something like that. <laughs> bad enzyme. Yeah, you know, but. Uh, you say she's not hitting on all eight cylinders? She, she if I say something, she'll say, she won't necessarily say, no, it's not that way. But she'll say, she'll change. It's this way. So uh, she'll, so re-word, I, she'll rephrase what you just said. So if you it, said. Well, she used to say, in other words, ah. and, and I, I broke her of that because, no, no, no. It's not in other words. It's the way I said it. You don't have to. Because her, in other words, was always, would always come up something different than what I said. So if you said the sky is blue, she'd say, "Oh no no no!" Right, right. It's, it's no, it's more like purple. <laughs> I said, "Well, is it a little bit blue?" No, it's more like purple. In other words, she has to have her way. She has to have her way. Ooh. I don't believe it. I think I think I think he made it all up, folks. Yeah. Yeah, but she's correcting. Don't you like to be correct? <laughs> if you guys out there in Radio Land know her. You can you can say whatever you want to say. I don't care. She needs to know that. Yeah, she needs, she to, be, needs to know she that. She needs to be stopped in her tracks. Yeah. We, we need to do an intervention. We'll bring her into the radio station. And but you know what? It, it, it ain't never going to happen. No, she could be sitting here correcting us every We've time we said quarter, something about her. A quarter century of this history. It ain't you ain't going to change a quarter history, a quarter of a century of history. Yeah, so we've been hmm. married twenty five years, uh, something like that. Wow. No, if she ain't changed now, she ain't. You can't change the leopard spots and can't change your wife's freckles either. Yeah. Well, she's got freckles too. Yeah. I know. That's why I said that. She's ready. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can't. Some of her freckles were changed. She had a, a bicycle accident and she skidded on her shoulder. What? And she's got a white spot on her shoulder. So it, it took no her freckles. Fre- it took her freckles off. Yeah. On that one white spot. Does yeah. she ever let, let you get a Sharpie and start connecting the dots? We never thought about that. See what you could draw? Yeah. Yeah, do I wanna, that. I want to suggest that, yeah. I'll tell her you suggested it. Yes. But when, yeah. you, when, when, when you see that spot, do you kiss it tenderly and say, oh, my baby's boo-boo? Depends on where that spot is. <laughs> she's at him on her shoulder. If she falls down, scans her butt, she's on her own. That ain't happening. <laughs> huh. mm. Okay. Ain't happening. I, I made me change it with my wife. Oh, my changes. Well, my gal, she's she got the OCD, and I'd like to change that about her. Oh yeah. She'll get on a kick, and it'll be 
she'll kick it to where it just don't move anymore. It's like mm-hmm. uh, well, they like health drinks. It all started. She went to that little health drink place there next to the 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 payday loan place. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing I know, she's buying all this granola and all this stuff to make these health drinks and stuff. And for about six or seven weeks straight, it was health drink this, health drink that, blah, 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 blah. I was getting sick of seeing it and hearing it. And I, you know, I wasn't about to taste it because I know that stuff. Her, was she going to make you do this too? No, no. But she would just, you know, made a made a big point to show everybody she's doing health drinks. Did it change anything? Did well, at, at the end of the seven or eight weeks when the OCD wearing off on that, she found something else to harp about. Now inside my cupboard, I've got all this health food stuff that'll never get eaten, never get drinking, whatever. You know, and that's two, three, four hundred dollars down the drain. Got okay, anything good there? Bring us a list next time. I'll bring yeah. it to you, buddy, but and you I'm, ain't gonna no, like I'm kidding. it. I'm kidding. No, health, no. health stuff usually doesn't doesn't taste very good. She did the same thing <laughs> uh, about getting her hair dyed. Yeah. There for about six or eight weeks, she was dyeing her hair a different color every two or three days. And it's like, all that chemicals and stuff can't be good for your hair. Mm. You know? You got to tell you, well, I got to bleach it to bring it back to blonde so I can make it another color. And it's like, by the end of the six weeks, she had to quit because her hair was looking like uh, it was about ready to fall out. I was going to say, I'd be scared of overdoing that and I'm waking up one morning and you're bald-headed. So if I could change one thing, I would take that OCD out of her life, and then she might be fit for real folk to live with. I don't know. I mean, uh, I put up with it, but you know, my wife's, I'm a, my wife's got that OCD thing. Her uh-oh. OCD thing is like uh, you're taking out the trash, and she said, "Oh, while you're doing it, do this, and while, and while you're doing that, do the." She'll add ten things onto. <clears throat> I said, while you're taking the trash out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, there's more hours in the day. We we can divide this up. She wants everything done at one time. Ooh. Or, or if she's going to leave and we're, we're late to get to church, you know. And uh, but before she goes out, she's got to do this before she do, she's got to do this. That's why she comes in and, five. After. And she's got to do this, got to do this, got to do this. And then uh, oh, take the trash out, too. You know, <clears throat> huh. and, yeah. And I said, wait, a minute. you know, Carrie, there's always tomorrow. Some of that stuff can wait till tomorrow. <clears throat> Well, I can see why she does it in your case. I mean, well, you're, uh, well, you're, you're, you're pushing the limits. You ain't got a whole lot of tomorrows <laughs> left. There, you're, but you're begging for it over yeah. there. <laughs> wow, yes. yes. She wants you to get everything done in case something happens and you get older and incapacitated like we're all working on. There you go. You can't do it no more, so she wants us to now see, well, Luke, he's sitting like over that. there smug looking and everything because he's got a perfect wife. She doesn't. She has no, no, no faults. If you believe that, I'll tell you another one. Mm. You're trying to get me to confess here. Uh, the, 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 did you think of something to, to change the matter? Uh, 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 Be careful, Luke. Uh, I wish. I know uh, Diane's listening. No, she ain't. Oh. Mm. I wish uh, she was a terrible cook. <laughs> you wish she was so, a terrible so cook? So you'd get skinny. Yeah, that's my problem. I married a good cook about, about yeah. uh, 70 pounds ago. Huh. I didn't have that problem. If she was a horrible cook, I wouldn't want to eat that much or whatever, and I'd be slim yeah. and trim again. Mm. So huh. that's well, a. How, do you, how would you? How do we fix that? I guess you could start fixing liver every night and watch yeah. me starve to death. Yeah. <laughs> fix if all the, if, if the you're that good a like. cook, you might start liking liver. Oh my gosh! If that's so, just go ahead and put me out of my misery. Knock me in the head with a two before. Mm. I'm done. I wish she was a bad cook. I mean, I say that, but I, 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 I would hate to endure it, but. That's like but saying, I wish my gal wasn't so dad gum pretty. You ain't supposed to say that's something right, like that. That's right, because all the guys would quit looking at if her. If your wife was a bad cook, then you'd be poor because you had to take her out all the time. No, she hates to eat out. She doesn't mm-hmm. like going to restaurants, which is rare for a woman. So I'm, I'm glad about that. I'd save a lot of money. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like to eat, go out to eat. She doesn't like jewelry. She doesn't like to go shopping. Yeah. She saved me a lot of money over the years. Yeah, I I need to take some of her jeans and put them into my <laughs> old lady because that that's shopping we, thing. That's what we could do. We could put all of our three old ladies together and combine them and take uh, sh- spread all the good stuff around and you know have a common denominator kind of thing and borrow. There the you go. And Bar- borrow what together, you need uh, and give away what you have, don't. Have a Frankenstein bride yeah. of some kind. Uh, 
That might work. I don't well, know. Well, I guess we should say something good about our wives, right? Uh, well, well I, she's a good wife. cook. I yeah, wish she wasn't. Good cook. Oh. <laughs> my wife, well, back when I started uh, starting to date her, her father told me that, well, she's got a, she, she don't know how to handle money, but she's got a good heart. Well, see, there was your first red flag. <laughs> yeah, the real. I should have. You should have ran then. I for the good heart. Run, Forrest, run. Yeah. But no, you didn't. No, you didn't. But would you marry her all over again? I probably would. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I probably yeah. would. Yeah. Uh -uh. Sure, why not? Hey, we can't imagine what it would be like a, uh, where you'd be. Yeah. What would be going on? You'd have different kids or whatever. Yeah. You never know where you'd be if you. Yeah. There was yeah, a road not taken. Yeah, you know, and she's got she's got some good points, you know. Yeah, she's a keeper, is she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, you know she ain't listening. <laughs> right, we'll be talking about Mel's, uh, Mel's obituary next week. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. We'll, yeah. we'll read it on the air. She's a good old girl. Just a good old girl. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. we shot that subject. Yeah, we did. Y'all so anxious to talk about it. We used up all of our... Uh, hot air and all of our material here. Yeah. We're still a minute out. We're still a minute out. Although it looks yeah. kind of fun to talk about them. Yeah, yeah. that's that's not a bad idea. See, they're not they're never listening, so we can yeah. we can yeah. uh, we can trash them every I, week. You know, it's like it's like my gal. You know, for all for all her faults, I could I, I could have done a million times worse. Uh, you yeah, know. there you go. That's where I look uh, at it. Yeah, we're lucky to have somebody, right? Absolutely. Somebody to put up with us anyway, because I know I'm a contrary individual. I'm I'm not an easy fella to get along with. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. I'm set in my ways. Oh. That's where I live out in the country. I, my neighbors don't even like me. Wow. Live too close, too obnoxious. Oh, you're way out in the country. Yeah. Wow. In fact, your neighbors have abandoned their places. I've had people move out on account of me. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Huh. We always put up a privacy fence. Yeah, they don't need. He don't need. He got woods. I got woods on two sides, and I got privacy fence on the other two sides. Yeah, woods is better than privacy. Well, invariably, it's been a good time, but we're going to get on out of here. Appreciate you being back with us, Dave. We miss you. Yeah, hopefully my health holds. I'll be back with y'all more often this you coming better. year. Hoping to get you back again on a regular basis. But anyway, we got to ask that question of our great and wonderful long lost brother, Mr. KC Carlton. That question being, what's the frequency, Kenneth? 1480 AM on your radio dial, News Radio WFLN, Arcadia's news and information station.